Hmm, interesting. Uh, getting even more interesting. Oh, okay, enough now. What's going on, Sam? Did you declare war on our stationery? No, Sue, I want you to marvel at our pet creations. You're saying Cookie did it? Cookie and Fluffy and even Tater Tots! Yeah, well, their taste is kind of weird. Until our stationery has a solid fortress, they'll just keep stealing everything. Fortress? Well, I can't promise to build a fortress, but we can definitely make a good house for our stationery. Something's coming! Hey, guys! Today we're going to make a real house for all the stationery. These are the parts we prepared. So far, it doesn't look like a house one would like to live in. Well, it'll take some time. First, we glue the back wall of the house to the base carefully. Okay. The first wall now. And the second one. Any better? Well, wow. Hmm. I can make out the outlines of the house already, but we need a roof. We'll get right on it. I prepared the parts we need here. Sure, or else Cookie would easily crush your cabaret house without a roof. We just have to be careful here so that the roof and the house become one. There, it worked just great. Hmm, time for some interior design. I prepared shelves for our house. Let's glue them. How will we know how high we should glue the cardboard shelf? Well, here's a pencil holder for you. What should you do with it? Draw our portrait. Uh, sure, as soon as we finish everything here. Look, we put the pencil holder with the stationery on the base. But there's space left both on top and on the side. Right, so we'll mark where we'll glue our shelf. And this spot here will perfectly match the pencil holder. And I'll go make more holders like this. <laughs> Great, Sammy. And I'll glue our first shelf in the meantime. You mean the first floor ceiling, Sue, don't ya? Oh, well, yeah, sure, Sam. And this will be the attic floor, then. Uh, what's this? This is, um, a lobby. All the tenants need to enter someplace, right? Huh, makes sense. Uh, what's with the front part, though? Won't there be a door? Of course there will. Here. Then you'll need this. Right. Cardboard master. <laughs> so. Done. Good job. The master approves. Oh, thank you, Sammy. Now we should glue ledges to our door. What should I do? Make a hinge for the door. Can you do that? You bet I can. The ledges are thin, so it's better to use a small amount of glue here. Easy, does it? The front part of the house is ready! We only need to attach it now. Here you go. Oh, great, Sammy. You used a pipe and a stick to make a hinge? Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's see how they work. After I glue them right here. There's no way they don't work. They were made by the master. Oh, I didn't doubt you, Sammy. We'll have the best stationary house because I managed the construction. <laughs> That's right. Guess what? Our door will have a secret. Look. It reminds me of something. It does? Of what? I'll have to think about it. Do think. Oh, I know! We made the marker pen compartment in the same way for our other organizer. That's right, Sammy. Also, we used this back then. Remember? Huh. It wasn't part of the draft. <laughs> what draft? In a word, we'll use this to make a lock for our house. Really? This lock doesn't look reliable, Sue. It's too early to draw conclusions, Sam. We're about to have an awesome clasp here. Huh, it's actually working out just fine. You're right. Now our stationery is well protected. Huh. Huh. Our house is kind of empty. We'll fix it, Sam. Let's quickly make a compartment with several sections for our pens and pencils. We'll have so many sections here. Yeah, so that our house will be in perfect order. Ready! Oh, oh, I've got so many ideas now! I'm off to create! <laughs> okay, Sammy. In the meantime, I'll continue working on the house. 
What house can there be without a chimney? I already made it with four identical pieces of cardboard, a cutter, and a ruler. Huh, maybe some presents will go down this chimney for Christmas? Send your marker pens. Hmm, maybe. So, what about those ideas of yours? Just a sec. First of all, this box. You can put all kinds of trifles in it and then stick it in the attic. Oh. Second of all, the pencil holders I promised. Huh. And a super duper secret compartment. <gasps> wow, it's so cool. Only this part could use some decor. <laughs> I'll go quickly fix it. It's okay, Sammy. I already prepared everything for the house. Then I'll add some touches to this part, and you'll do the same to the facade. Uh, I'll resort to magic. Wow, it's so cool, Sue! Wait, will the roof stay just like this without decoration? Don't worry, Sammy. I didn't forget about the roof. right on time. We're about to move the tenants in. We'll put the notebook here. This section will go first. And we'll have erasers living here. Let them settle over here. We'll keep pencils and felt pens in these holders. Oh, they fit just perfectly! <laughs> Here's the big compartment! The biggest uh, apartment in the house! <laughs> Great! We'll put it in its place. Don't forget about the glue, Sue. Let it live in the attic. Okay. And Sharpies will be living here. Awesome! Now our stationery is safe! Sue, I came up with a tale about our house. Oh, surprise me. Once upon a time, in a far-off YouTube land, there lived Sue and Sam, who decided to make a wonderful house for the stationery. So then what? The house proved to be so beautiful that all their viewers built the same kind of house for themselves the next day! Oh, and the world got to be full of marvelous magic houses with stationery. Great, Sam. Let's hope that your tale will prove to be true and our efforts won't be wasted. We'll know it thanks to your likes and subscriptions. That's right. Subscribe to our channel, guys. Have a good day and bye-bye. Coming out so beautiful. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, guys. Sue! Sue! I got such an idea. I have to draw it immediately. Give me a pencil and a piece of paper. Wait, and the magic word? To greet our viewers. Hello! Uh, that's also important, but what should you say when you ask for something? Oh, please! <laughs> that's better. Here. Huh, what if we make our eyes blue? Hmm, <gasps> that's a great idea. No, I need an eraser. So I need an eraser. Give it to me, please. That's better. Here you go. By the way, what are you drawing over there? A super cool robot. You'll see. I hope he'll manage. The robot failed. The drawing must be destroyed. So the drawing came out bad. Give me another piece of paper. I'll draw a car. Sam, if you decide to draw, then you better prepare not to ask me to give you anything. 
So don't be upset. Soon you'll see I'm gonna draw such a cool car that then you'll ask me how to draw it for you all the time. There. Oopsie. Something tells me that Sue won't be happy that I broke her pencil. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna ask for another one. Sue, I kinda got a problem. The pencil broke. Can you give me another one? You've got a lot. Right. I'm sick of this. Enough. If you can't take care of yourself, then I'll do it. We're going to make a cardboard organizer. Wow! Cool! I'm ready! Of course you are, because you're going to work now. The best cardboard cutter in the world. Yeah, that's me. Write in the comments what you think of my cardboard cutting skill. Well, let's get started with the base of our organizer. We need a sharp pencil and a ruler. It happened just once. <laughs> right, once. Should I remind you all the times it happened? Uh... Okay, it happened several times, but I don't see the reason to panic and be upset. <laughs> Several times. Maybe you wanted to say 20? Here are the measurements, guys. I'm sure our viewers had the same problem. Right? Tell us in the comments how often your pencils break so Sue can stop being upset with me. Yes, tell us. Let Sam know that he's the only clumsy one here. Sue, you told I'd work. You don't let me cut anything. I'll finish cutting these pieces, and then you'll make pieces for the pencil holder. I hope you remember to be careful while using the cutter. Of course! And our viewers remember too, it's very easy to cut yourself. Right, while I'm assembling the base, you can take the cutter and make the pieces we need, okay? No problem, the master is in. <laughs> Be careful, master. By the way, be careful dealing with hot glue as well. I got my finger burned once. You better ask an adult to help you. <laughs> Done! Here in no time. Great! You're very quick. Oh, could you please go to the kitchen and bring several chopsticks? We need them soon. Be right back. By the way, I'm a little hungry. Do you want something? Nice idea, but first let's finish the craft. <laughs> I'm gonna check to see what we have in the kitchen, just in case. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, I'll continue with the base. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Why did I go to the kitchen? <laughs> Sammy, you went for chopsticks. <laughs> All right. Coming. <laughs> oh, Sammy. Little sweet tooth. Guys, I hope you don't forget anything. Like subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell not to miss new videos. And ask adults to help you with the draw. By the way, where's Sam? I'm coming! Sue! So, they broke! These are the last ones. What shall we do? <laughs> I hope you didn't get hurt. Look, the pieces fit perfectly. Oh, I just got hurt a little. I'm good. Can't say the same about the sticks. Well, we don't need to cut them now. Very convenient. If it doesn't hurt you too much, we could do this way more often. It definitely saves us some time. <laughs> no way. I'd better cut all the things for you myself instead of falling every time. <laughs> I'll take you at your word. Now you'll always cut chopsticks and skewers. Well, not every time. I got too excited, let's say two times a week. Uh, all right, at least two times a week. That's good. <laughs> Check out this awesome thing that's coming out. That looks solid. Even if I still don't understand how it will work and why we need it. Soon you'll see. It's very easy. We need it because someone disturbs me while I'm drawing. This way you'll be able to find everything you need in one place without my help. <laughs> I already get everything from one place. You! <laughs> well, not anymore. All the tools will be in this awesome organizer. Then you won't be distracting me again. 
This looks neat, right? Would you like it, Sam, if I distracted you every time for an eraser or a pencil while you're drawing? Well, no, I wouldn't. See? I don't like it either when I'm being distracted. Now we're going to make a paper section. So it's even gonna have paper? Cool! Of course! You'll be surprised to see how many things it can fit. It's a super duper organizer for drawing. Aha! Uh -huh, so it'll definitely suit me because I'm a super duper slime artist. Wait a moment. I'll show you one cool thing. Bring more pencils. Don't fall this time. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'll attach the paper section to our organizer carefully. Done. Not a single slime was harmed during the mission. <laughs> Sam, good job. Look how you can take pencils from the organizer. And hop. Cool. Can I try too? Sure. Wow, I love it. Well, 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 what's this? This will be a pencil sharpener machine. We only need to assemble it. Wow, so I won't need to sharpen pencils manually? You're awesome, Sue! Oh, thank you, Sammy. <laughs> huh, something's missing. Oh, Sam, we need a switch to turn the machine on and off. And here it is, Sue. Let's assemble our machine. Thank you, Sammy. You're welcome. I'm your main assistant today. Right. Could you also assist me in cleaning the house and washing the dishes? Stop! I guess I've already washed my share of dishes this week. <laughs> what if I were to share a small Nutella jar with you? Now you're talking. If you add a pack of Oreos to it, I'll help you with the cleaning too. <gasps> Sam! That sounds like blackmail. All right, all right. I'll help you even without Nutella. She doesn't have it anyway, because I ate everything yesterday. <laughs> Let's try out the mechanism. <gasps> Great, it works! Now we need to make a case for the sharpener. The organizer is almost ready. I can't wait to try it. Well, wait a little more. We're finishing soon. <sighs> I'll draw everything I wanted. A car, a robot. Of course you will. And I'll finally finish my drawing, too. A little more magic? Nice. Sam, can you cut several little rectangles from the cardboard leftovers? I'm glad you remembered your best cutter. First piece. Thank you, very quick. You even made a hole for a pencil. You always forget that I got my medal for a good reason. Oh, right, I always do. But our viewers never forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell not to miss new videos. Right, guys? There are more pieces. One, two, three, four. Well done. I can see the touch of a real master. That was easy. Should I cut something more? Huh. Oh, yes. We need to make a section for erasers. More cardboard needed. Easy. Look and learn. One, two, three. Now I'm convinced you're the best cardboard cutter. Bring the erasers, master. <laughs> Here, everything I can find. I think two erasers are enough. They'll last long unless someone loses them. Who do you mean? I never lose erasers. <laughs> Sam, you always take things personally. I was talking about myself, actually. <laughs> That's right. But this paper won't last long. Well, we can always add to it. We have a whole pack. Huh. So, doesn't it seem a little boring? Um, maybe. We can decorate it. Oh, it's time to show everything I'm capable of. Sue, close your eyes for one moment. Now you'll see the super duper power of the slime artist. <laughs> show me. I've been longing to see it. Okay, you this goes here and this goes there. Okay, perfect. Open your eyes. <gasps> wow, Sam, it's amazing. Where did you learn to decorate so well? A little here, a little there, and a little from you. Look, it's very convenient now. You take a pencil here and sharpen it if it's broken. Convenient indeed. Now I only need to teach it to draw whatever I want. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> and what will you do? Oh, I'm a bit tired after making the craft. I need to take a nap for about an hour. Otherwise, I'll fall and break something again. <laughs> so you'd better say bye to our friends. 
Bye, guys. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to rest and hit the bell not to miss our new cool crafts. Bye-bye. Right, I need scissors to open the package. Huh, I guess I put them here. That's weird. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'll open it without scissors. Sam! We need to stop the cornflake avalanche! Have you seen tape? Nope, I haven't. Oh, which floor should the roof be? Green, of course! Uh, strange. I'm sure I had the green marker. Uh, Sam, did you take all the paper clips? If I don't secure the package now, you'll have to eat oatmeal for breakfast. No! We have to buy paper clips urgently! It's like they disappeared. <laughs> Nothing here. <sighs> Ugh, why are our things not where they're supposed to be? Ugh, maybe they're naughty and can't sit in one place. Or maybe because our things don't have a home of their own. Hi, guys! Today, we'll make a house for all your pencils, pens, paper clips, sticky notes, and notebooks so they don't get lost and you can always find them. So we'll use several cardboard pieces of different sizes. Together with Sam, we painted all the cardboard parts in advance. Look! The big piece is for the base, and the smaller one's for the walls. So why do you need tape if you have me? Plus, there weren't so many cornflakes. Sam, did you eat all the cornflakes? Don't be mad, Sue. I have a gift for you. This was on the bottom of the package. Wow, so pretty. We'll use them for the house decor. The walls of our house are ready. Now we can start with the base. We'll need these cardboard pieces. Cardboard? Again? Sam, a house cannot be made of just two walls. Yeah, you're right. So we take all our parts and glue them like this. Sue, this looks like a throne for me, the king of all slimes. <laughs> no, your majesty, this is the base for our stationary house. And now we need... <laughs> Cardboard. <laughs> yes, Sam. We'll make the central part of the house from them. Soon, we'll insert some drawers here. It goes pretty simple here. Apply the glue and attach the part to the base. And what should I do? Maybe cut something? Yes, Sammy. Find the part with three squares marked and cut them out. In a second. Sammy, you did everything great! Sue, I think that one more shelf would be just perfect here. Great! We'll make a section for notebooks from it. Though Sam always complains about cardboard, he's awesome at cutting it. Now you can store all the notebooks and pads here. Now on to the transformable lid. First, we glue stripes like this. This will help make our lid flexible. You'll see in a moment. Next, with the dull part of the cutter, we'll draw a line along this part to make the folding easier. Be careful with the cutter, guys. Here, the gluing task is a little easier since we use ordinary glue and not the hot one. But still, go nice and slow to avoid making a mess. Here I am! I need the lower part of the lid. Thanks, Sam. Here, we need to glue it underneath the other stripe. Two more pieces go right here. We fold the paper piece and attach it here. It will hold the lid. Now we just need to attach the lid itself. For the next stage, we'll need these pretty blocks with Velcros. They'll help our lid open and close easily. Did you know, Susie, that Velcro was inspired by a simple burdock? Oh, you impressed me. That's a very interesting fact. I'm amazing, I know. I can find curious facts and all that. All that? Well, I found those colorful sheets in the cornflakes. Oh, yes. <laughs> we'll use them soon, Sammy. I'll give you a task for now. Yes, yes, I'm ready. Attach those colorful sheets to these cardboard parts. Be right back. 
Meanwhile, I will attach these interesting parts made of cork. We've never used this material in our crafts before. Master Sam completed the mission. Wonderful. Here we go. Now our house will be bright and cheerful. So what kind of laundry do you want to try on these clothespins, doll dresses? <laughs> no, Sam. These clothespins can be used to hold useful things. For example, a memo sticker with a reminder. <laughs> There's no need to remind me of anything because I'm super focused. Oh, then why did you forget where your green marker was? I never forget things. My marker simply didn't have a home, so it was just wandering around. Yes, now we'll improve the situation. Sam, hurry up and bring your markers. So I decided that my pens also need a home. There. Now pens and markers will be comfortable here, and you'll be able to find them easily. Perfect! We'll also make a barrier for markers and pens, so they don't roll anywhere. This way, it'll be secure and pretty. One more barrier… And done! We open the lid. Sam, look at all this space! Holy cannoli! Next time you won't need to look for scissors and no oatmeal for breakfast guarantee! <laughs> That's true. Now I set the partition and then… Yoo-hoo! Sam, what are you up to? Wow! I'm gonna take part in show jumping competition! <laughs> Sam, only horses can take part in those events. I'm a disguise master. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make a big shelf so we can store our supply of washi tape here. Time to make the doors for the sidewalls. Just apply the glue like this. And attach a paper strip. We'll attach the door to the wall, and then do the same with the second one. Oh, I totally forgot about handles! Alrighty done! Super slime is always near! Sam, you're awesome! There we go! Please bring me another shelf, and meanwhile, I'll attach this one. I'm attaching it to the door. So, why do we need these shelves? As I already said, we'll use them to store washi tape for all our crafts. And the other compartment is for the glue. Now all our glue will be in one place. Guys, you see the bell button? Hurry up and hit it so you won't miss new videos! And here we'll have these sticky notes. We'll write something on them or just draw. We'll need another sheet of paper with print. That way our house will become even prettier. And functional! Great idea! We can attach a picture to the pin. So beautiful! But why stop if we can go on? <laughs> That's some weird transparent paper. Oh, Sam, it's not paper, but paper protection. Though you're partly right. We'll use it to write on it with markers. Guys, give a thumbs up if you didn't know that an ordinary file can be used that way. Now we'll start making a collapsible shelf for different kinds of paper. Here, I made marks on the cardboard one centimeter apart from each other. It's very important to draw straight lines. You should also use the dull side of the knife. Be careful. Don't rush it. So you look like a surgeon now. It's important to be accurate here. And now we fold the sheet like an accordion. We have to fold two sheets like this. And then use a glue stick to attach them to each other. They will serve as the walls of our collapsible shelf. We'll need two more accordions. So I made a rainbow! Give a thumbs up if you like rainbows, too! Oh, I see them! Rainbows appear only when the sun shines on raindrops. But we'll glue these sheets to our accordions. Like this. See? <laughs> However, Sam is right. We'll get a rainbow shelf in the end. Finally, our collapsible shelf is ready! 
we insert our accordion. What a wonderful bright folder we got! We just need to attach the lid so nothing drops out of the folder. Otherwise, it won't be functional at all. As you may have noticed, we're using a glue stick here, not only hot glue. It's not a very good idea to use hot glue on thin cardboard or paper. So, a couple more details. Done! What is it, Sammy? Could you bring a marker? And I'll do some magic here. Well, okay. Sam, why did you- <gasps> How cool! Now we can plan the whole week! You like sticky notes so much, Sam. What makes you think so? Here's the beautiful house we made for all our stationery! It looks so awesome! Yes! There's also some spacious drawers. Plus, well, a very special place for stickers and other fun things. <laughs> Here, we can always find tape and glue. Now all my markers and pens have a home and they'll never get lost! Hooray! Guys, give a thumbs up if you like this organizer! And try to do it yourself! Good luck with your studies, guys! And subscribe to our channel for new inspiration! videos. Bye-bye!